got this uh, piece of clothesline rope. Went ahead and tied a loop. Threw it over this branch and tied it off like a boat cleat. That way I can hang the scalded bird here and remove its feathers. Can I get you to do that? Yeah. I took the other side of the rope, put a loop on it as well, so that when the bird is in the cone, I'll be able to restrain its feet and lock it off here. So I'm gonna get, you don't have pigs or anything. Yeah, not yet. So you can compost your gut to get back on the normal base. You don't have much. Yeah, I throw my stuff in the compost. some wood chips in order to create a nice bed for the chicken guts and stuff to go into that way I can cover it up that should be a good carbon base for all of the excess materials to go into so that I can compost it properly. You have a full crop there, that's why you want to starve them so you don't have a full crop. The chickens haven't eaten in over 24 hours. Uh, I fed them last yesterday morning. Should be having, should be getting some gut. This is another reason why you don't feed them. You won't have much poop. I gotta pick one to be first. Cause there's always a first and there's always a last, right? Who's gonna be first? Who's first? <laughs> Take about three minutes. While I'm waiting for that, I can get some water on it. In about three minutes, 
the bird will cease to move after you dispatch the bird all that is is reflexes kicking off but once it stops moving and the rest of the blood drains it's time to start scolding let's check that out we're uh, scolding until the feathers are easy to come off you just put it in the skull these feathers don't come off very easy so keep it going for about a minute at 145 degrees keep it agitated don't just set it in there and walk away stir it and if you're not using the feet cooking the feet you can actually hold the feet to stir it otherwise you get a three prong I use like a three prong for cultivator just Then check the temperature, make sure that it's still right. It's 150 degrees. Well, it's coming down now but it's right at 150 degrees, right where it needs to be. Keep moving it around. Make sure it's all stays submerged all the way up to where the feathers meet, meet the feet. Get the whole thing in there. Okay. Just maybe twist it around. There you go, because you're you're gonna have to pluck those legs too. Right. So we gotta get that sculpt too. Feathers don't come out of the wings yet. Still gotta go a little bit longer. Came out of the that came out of his wing pretty good. Drain him off. Now with the bird's weight, he's hanging a little lower than I thought, so I'm just gonna go ahead and bring him up to a comfortable work area. That'll work. I'm sure you guys can see them better there anyway. There's not much to instructing about plucking either except just pull feathers off. Start at the uh, wings. Start at the wings? Because they're harder to pull off. Alright. Alright. Start with the wings. They're the hardest to pull out normally.
you get done, or you think you're getting close to being done, rub on it. The feathers will poke out, poke out of the skin where you can grab them a little bit better. This is now what's going to go in your freezer, so you're starting to see a recognizable piece of meat here. So if, if the hairs don't come off now, hairs and feathers don't come off now, they're not they're not going to magically be gone once right. you put them in a freezer bag. Now's the time to get off the feathers, because once they go in the freezer, they don't just disappear. Justin Rhodes said. Alright, go ahead and start working on the rest of the bird. Oops, I made a mistake. Scolding is hands on, eviscerating is hands on. The only thing in this process that's not is your bleed. So always have somebody bleeding. Like Justin Rhodes said, it takes three million minutes to bleed them out if you always have one hanging. So I'm gonna go get one, I'll be right back. And put him in the bucket of water. Alright, he's filled up uh, up to his feet. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this one scalded. And uh, keep the process going. I'll probably only just scald him and then put him up to, and pull his feathers. <laughs> And then probably butcher both of these. Doing it by yourself, you, you, you kind of have to go in stages. You can't just kill a whole bunch of them and just leave them there. Or maybe you can, I don't know.
seen this once before, so I'm not going to bore you with it. I'll see you back here when I. I'll see you back here when I start butchering. Yeah. Okay. Now, take your around your neck, pull the skin up, and just we're gonna slice. <laughs> cut it all around and I have this piece of skin on my neck mm -hmm. yeah pull that piece of skin off all right cut the skin from around the neck Disconnected. Claw still intact. And put, put, put up on one leg so you can see between it. Okay. Here. Sit in between the joint there. Okay. Then break it. All right. Do the feet. Try not to cut the bones, just get the tendons in between. See these two bones? Yeah. Cut butt, pull, pull the skin out and cut just above those bones. Pull it up. Slice. Never poke, always slice so that you don't actually poke an intestine. Cut, don't poke. Okay, now you got a hole in there. Bring it over your edge because you could cause poop to come out when you do this. No need to get it on your working station, right? Grab in there, open this cavity up, see some poop came out. You're putting your hand in there and you're going along the rib cage, okay? Or not the rib cage, can you feel it? Like, uh, Okay, so right here, go through there. Okay. Disconnecting the, the material from the sides. Okay. We can reach up in there with at least three fingers. Break all the con uh, connective tissue.
Now let it hang. Let, let it hang? Yeah, this is the tricky part. That's your intestines. There's poop in that. Right. So grab your knife. Yep. And you're gonna hold it and cut down to you hit bone. All right. Now you, once you get the guts hanging out, the tube hooked up to the back is the bowel. So you careful not to cut it. One side. Hit bone. Now, now you go straight over. Okay. Go underneath. And then you go to the right without hitting the intestines, or to the left without hitting the intestines, since you should have a disconnected. And cut on the other side, making sure not to cut it on this side either. And voila. Cut the bowel out. See? You still got some lungs in there. See the lungs? Oh, yeah. So, so dig all that. You have to kind of claw those out at, a, at this angle. It's a little trick. There you go. Perfect. Now you go up inside. Now that you can see better, all that stuff is out of the way. Make sure you get the lungs and that you can see the rib cage. Clearly. Sometimes it comes out in pieces, you just kind of have to keep going up in there until it's all out. Our, look at that huge bulge. Right. That's our crop. So that didn't get pulled off of there. You don't want to end up cooking that, right? No, no. So, look, pulling it. Try not to bust it because that's where you get in a lot of your mess. Look, just kind of pulling it away. That's got their feet in there. There's a craw. Hmm. You get that all out of there. All right, cross out. Breathing tube is out. <sighs> Interior of the bird is clean. Turn it back over. Cut straight down behind this. Okay. Yep. And just before you hit the bone, then you're gonna cut out. Okay, that's getting that oil going out of there. Alright, next. Flip the bird over.
go just above this little nub, whatever it's called, if you know what it's called, leave it in the comments. And just above it, slide, cut slowly back and forth. Once you hit the bone, start to fillet it back. Cut down, not into the bone. Cut out all this yellow junk. Clean it all up. Even still now, when you're rubbing it, you might find a, a rogue, rogue feather or two. Just get them plucked off because they don't disappear in the freezer or on their own. What do you think? Did I do a good job? I think I did a good job. Go over Justin Rhodes' channel and tell him thank you for teaching Jason from Freedom Using Farm and Arbor how to dispatch and butcher a chicken. If you want to watch my journey learning how to butcher, go ahead and check out this playlist right here. I want to thank you for watching. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Hit that bell. That way you'll be notified when I put out new videos.